Good day, everyone. Welcome back. Today we'll be covering the first course, basic building blocks of the R programming. Okay. First, we go back to the R Studio. Okay. Start the Control Enter. We load the library. We run the swap. Okay. We maximize this console one window. Okay. Okay, we'll be doing this fundamental R programming with the first one, basic building blocks. So I won't be covering each bit and byte of the, the workshop. Uh, if something where I found worth elaborating more, I will explain more about it. So first is to show you how to type 5 plus 7, what will be the value. Yeah, 12, 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay, now it says how to assign a variable with the value of 5 plus 7. So x gets 5 plus 7. So it should be assign 5 plus 7. So this is here. You can also copy and paste it. So generally, we leave a space in between the operator and the value. So this is the best practice. Okay, so we type x to have a look what's the value of x. x equals 12. But if you, you are using uh, R Studio, you can also see the x value here, 12. So now type x minus 3. What is the value of x minus 3? x minus 3 equal to 9. But we want to assign it to a value of y. x minus 3. Okay, what is the value of y? We type it to see. Value of y is 9 in the console. But in the global variable, global environment place, we also see the defined values here, all the variables here. Okay, what's next? Okay, we have a z now. Z is calling a c function, which is a concatenate function or combined function to combine three values. So the three values combined together and assigned to z and z is called a vector a vector z is a vector okay so we type we say we want to have a look at what does it mean for c function question mark c without bracket without parenthesis and if you want to look at the function just question mark c this uh, help page will be pop up for you to see so what is usage how to use the c whether you want to use recursive and use names true or not so what does this mean recursive true the function recursively descends through with this blah, blah, blah. and a few examples you can see a few examples down there so combine one comma c seven to nine and so on so this show you Okay, type Z to view its contents. So this is the Z's value. Well, you can also see from here what is the Z's value. Uh, Z's value. Okay, what's next? Combine vector, create a new vector, contain Z and 555, five, five, and then Z again in that order. Okay, create a new vector, Z. Z. Z, 5, 5, 5, then Z again, okay, so it's a Z, it's two Z vectors, and in between there is 5, 5, 5, numeral vectors can be arithmetic expression to have the following to see what happens, Z times 2 plus 100, guess what would be the value you get? Let's start doing pairwise, element-wise uh, calculation. So z value is 1.1 times 2 plus 100 is 102.2. Yeah. So it's element-wise. Take the square root of z assigned to a new variable called my square root. Assign to sqr when typing sqr 
R Studio is quite smart. It auto complete for you. So SQRT. At the meantime, if you want to use the SQRT, you just press the tab key. Tab. Yeah. SQRT X. So what will be the value then? X numeric x equal to z minus one. I just type z minus one. SQRT z minus one. Okay, so before we view the content, but it's a bit, bit difficult. You already see the values here. <laughs> it's already there. So I backed up of lens three. I backed up of lens one. Blah blah blah. It's actually backed up of lens three. So it's a pairwise calculation. So print. You can print this one, or you can use a function provided by school. It's called skip bracket. So it will auto complete the auto complete the solutions for you. You can skip it. So this is the value, and then the same value that you see here. Okay, now what's next? My division equals to z divided by square root. Okay, again, my when we are typing the my underscore, there's two prompts here. You can use the up and down arrow key to select which one you want. So you want um, SQRT, then you select SQRT, then press tab. Then put a space divided by the value of z divided by z get value of z divided by my SQRT. Okay. So that will be the value. The first element is blah 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 divided by blah, blah, and so on. It is a single number. So it should be two, right? So it's pairwise. Pairwise. Okay, I underscore again auto complete press tab and see the value. Recycle. So this is a concept of recycle. Longer vector and shorter vector. So read through it to see another example of how recycle try adding and blah blah blah. Okay, so this is this is a longer vector plus a shorter vector c zero comma ten. So what will be the value? One twelve thirteen three and fourteen. So what happened is one plus zero two plus ten. 12 and 3 plus which one? There's no no more numbers. So 3 will be plus 0 again. So this is and 4 plus 10 again. And this is called the recycling of the second uh, vector. That's the concept. Huh? And this is a similar thing. Control C, control P. Let's see 1 plus 0, 2 plus 10 equal to 12, 3 plus 100 is 103, 4 plus which one? No more, then we recycle the first one. So 4 plus 0 equals to 4. Okay. okay. Up arrow will, I put so hitting the up arrow. Here. Okay, so we can up, 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 down, down, down. So they will call, recall what are the commands that you have type before hit until you get this command z times 2 plus 100 okay type 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 z plus 2 plus 100 there's another way to do it is in our studio there is a history history will stop all the historical commands that you have written so let's say i want this z say i don't want the z i find this z times 2 plus 100 with the double click it double click uh, double click you, you have that and it says well change 100 to 1000 enter okay you get it right and you see this latest command here z times 2 plus 1000 so the one continue okay time activation and present okay this is about auto complete press tab so this is auto complete 
would you like to receive? Oh, it's already the end of this uh, basic course. So we are ending. Okay, that's the end of the first course, which is basic building blocks. Thanks for watching. Next video, we will be going through the work space and files. Thanks for watching. See you soon.